Good afternoon, everyone. This is Matt Croissant, your internet manager and dedicated content creator over here at Kia of Columbia in Missouri, getting you some information on this 2019 Chevy Colorado work truck. So work truck obviously coming in white. So just in case you want to purchase this vehicle, you can put your branding and your decals all over this. Now this is a two wheel drive, four cylinder model. So it's really just the bare bones here, but it has a bed, it's got storage behind the seats, and it's a pick em up truck. But let's go ahead and dig in here. Up front, we've got some halogen headlights up front, low beam and high beam with some halogen turn indicators. You actually got a nice little chrome 16 inch wheel set on here for some, uh, some curb appeal. Got a nice fresh set of Goodyear's on there for you. This is an extended cab model. Uh, which actually, because it is a work truck and most Chevys come like this, it does come with onboard Wi-Fi, so you can work on the go. This is powered by AT&T, as far as I know, so you can always add this vehicle to your phone plan or just subscribe to the OnStar data plan uh, to get that data rolling for you on a hotspot. And just to give you an idea of most of what this vehicle contains feature and equipment wise, here is all the information and anything else that you need to know, head on over to keyofcolumbia.com. But this 2019 Chevy Colorado work truck has about 92,678 miles, has a 2.5 liter four cylinder paired up to a six speed automatic. And again, it is rear wheel drive coming in the summit white there. Feel free to pause to check out any information that you need. Fuel door is going to be on the left. You get a slightly longer bed on here because of the extended cab. Comes with this nice uh, soft top roll up tonneau cover here for you. You've got a backup camera here. No towing equipment, not recommended with the four cylinder here, but you've got some nice footsteps to get up onto the bed. It drops down pretty decently here. Looks like we've got a uh, random spare tire in here for you. Looks like the previous owner. Uh, worked with a little bit of paint here, but you've got the drop-in bed liner here, tie-down connections, and you can see this uh, roll-up tonneau cover right here for however you need it. Backup camera. Wrapping around here. You've got privacy glass in all of your rear windows here. You've got little blind spot mirrors that were added to this, I can only assume. But nice little pickup truck. We're going to hop on in. I've got Crystal here with me today. She's going to be our assistant moving forward. So we're getting her educated on vehicles. So that way she knows how to help you when you call in or when we're reaching out. You've got power locks, power windows. The mirrors are going to need to be manually adjusted. Keep that in mind. You've got some nice storage up here, down below, nice little bottle holder, speakers. You do have uh, some audio capability in here, which is nice vinyl flooring instead of any carpeting so easy to clean easy to spray out you get a power driver seat with this model so you can uh, raise it or lower it for an aft adjustment and then you've got angle adjustment right here so it's going to be six-way adjustable for you it does come with automatic headlights as well and here's your dash illumination control let's go ahead and scoot this back a little bit here Nice little power seat option there. Steering wheel, pretty basic. You've got cruise control capability right here. If you need to adjust this too, you can. This does tilt and that's about it folks. <laughs> but uh, we're always learning together. Left hand wand is going to control your blinkers and your brights as well as this onboard menu display here. We can see we've got a menu button here and this dial that's rotatable right here. So you can check out trip information such as uh, digital speedometer, trip one for distance and fuel economy, trip two, fuel range. We do get you a full tank of gas with the vehicle so don't worry about that. Average speed, trip timer, and a blank screen. And then you also have uh, you know, vehicle information such as your oil life, so we're at 93%. Just got a fresh oil change here. Oil pressure, tire pressure information, battery voltage, engine hours. Um, most likely, you know, a lot of things that you would need to record 
uh, for a corporation if this was owned by such or for your business, depending on how you like to uh, you know, scrutinize your vehicles that you maintain. And then you can go over to the fuel economy section, checking out. Uh, fuel economy looks like the best was 32.3. Right now the average is 7.2 since this truck has just been idling on the lot a decent amount right here. But you can actually configure that by pressing the end of this wand for a check mark based on the last 50, last 450. Uh, so there we've got, you know, 23.2 or an average of 16.2 for this vehicle. And, you know, with this being a work truck, I'm sure it's sat here and idled a decent amount, which we can compare back to the engine hours versus the mileage. I'm sure some of you know uh, that ratio better than I do. We've also got compass for current cardinal direction, odometer, and current drive selection here. Right-hand wand will control your wipers and sprayers. And then moving up above, got a nice little handy dandy visor here with a ticket holder. This is going to be mirrored. And let's see here, non-telescopic, so you're just gonna have to deal with a little bit of extra sunlight if it's that far back in the day. Up above, we've got some lighting controls. We can set that for the door when those open or have it completely off. You got your OnStar controls right here. Then Moving down, we have a little bit of extra storage up above for maybe your sunglasses or any pens or smaller items. This does come with a pretty nice touchscreen display right here, so we can head to the home menu where you have access to your audio, phone, the onboard Wi-Fi that I mentioned, settings. And this also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you've got some built-in navigation and other utilities to have your phone seamlessly connected to this Colorado using one of the two USB ports down here. You've got shortcuts for your music, the navigation. Uh, the navigation does have to be connected to OnStar is how that works, just so you know. But uh, there's your signal strength for the 4G LTE that you've got on board, ambient temperature, and current time. You've got analog controls for those aforementioned items, and then a single climate manually temperature controlled air conditioning system. Down below we have traction control, hazard lights, and the cargo light there as well. And we've got some storage here. There's two USB ports, auxiliary port, 12 volt outlet, decent amount of storage right here to hold your phone. Then we've got cup holders here. This grommet is removable if you need to clean it or maybe you have some bigger cups you need to keep in here. You've got your shifter here with some manual shifting capability on the side. Checking out that backup camera. You can see we've got clear view of the bumper right here and then some projected pathing. So horizontal lines for distance judgment, left and right hand lines representing the true sides of the Colorado. So say if we wanted to sneak into this parking spot over here to the right, looks like we wouldn't clear it just completely, but we can get pretty close and get that backup process started. So anywhere you're traveling to, this is going to represent where the Colorado is traveling. So there you have it. More storage here. Nice big deep well for a center console. Looks like you can hold some tissues or something right in here. Maybe some cards. And a nice little glove box with the owner's manuals inside. That's going to be it for the front seating area. We're just going to hop out real quick, show you the back seating area or lack thereof. Crystal, you can hang out right there if you want to and stay cool. So typically there are seats back here, but uh, not anymore. So just a lot of great storage space for you uh, to keep your tools dry, but you also have the tonneau cover back here to help with that as well, which is I'm sure that was what that was for. You've got rear speakers in the doors, some extra bottle holders though. So get some decent sound. Side airbags also included on here. Also on this rear pillar right here too, but nice vinyl flooring. Again, just tons of storage space for you to keep all your tools back here or whatever you um, can use this Colorado 4. And that is going to be about it. We're going to wrap around um, and check out the passenger seat adjustability real quick. We're going to finish this one up, guys. Thanks for all your time today. Hope this video was helpful for you. So on the right-hand side, this is just a four-way adjustable manual driver's seat or passenger seat right here. So we've got back angle adjustment and then fore and aft adjustment with this smaller handle here and we're done Chevy Colorado thanks again for your time today everybody make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family 
Leave a comment if you have any compliments, questions, or corrections about any of the information provided to you today or something that you know about this Chevy Colorado work truck that can help everybody else as well. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you can stay up to date with all of the vehicles that we're uploading to this channel for your informational and shopping needs. This Chevy Colorado is available for purchase. We work with people nationwide, so if you'd like to become the owner or get even more information to help you make that decision, head on over to KiaOfColumbia.com. Vehicle link is down below in the description. This is Matt Croissant over at Kia of Columbia here in Missouri. We hope you're having a wonderful day.